Wake up! Wake up, Max. You're having a nightmare. Wake up. Uh, What's going on here? When am I gonna get a little sleep? Max had a nightmare. Oh, oh. He was in this room. Dracula. I... I dreamt he was right here. Whew, that was scary. There are a lot of things to worry about, Max, but a dream like that isn't one of them. As long as you're in this house, you're protected by the cross of the Magyars. The what? You haven't noticed the big cross over the stairway? It is the reason Lucard can never come in here. Come with me a minute. Come on. Uh. My family has had that cross for generations. It has complete power over Lucard and anyone like him. They can never enter this house so long as it is there. So you see, Max, your worries are unfounded. You've been carrying on like this all morning. When am I gonna get a little quiet? You talking to me? Take off those earmuffs so you can hear me. Thank you. Thank you. If you're looking for something to do, why don't you read a book? Read? It's good for you. So are vegetables, but I've never seen you eating any. Sauerkraut counts as a vegetable. Besides, we're talking about food for the mind, not the body. Reading is the best way to build a healthy mind, and it can be a lot of fun. Fun? Yes, and useful. Here, try this one. It will tell you how to keep evil away. Are there any pictures? Of course. Hello. Who? Peter Dyson, you old dog. How are you? In town. Is uh, Anna with you? Splendid. How is she? Still asking about me, is she? <laughs> well, if you're going to be in town for the week, why don't you stay here? No, I insist. Wonderful. Couple of hours? Splendid. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Both. We're having company, Max. My old friends Peter and Anna Dyson. I haven't seen them in years. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, Anna and I were quite the pair until I introduced her to my best friend, Peter. The old dog is taller right out from under my nose. You, of course, Peter had a more secure future. But I think she always remembered me. Uncle Gustav, when was the last time the cross of the Magyars was blessed? What? Oh, not in years. Uh, I have to run over to Herr Blusens to get a few things for the Dysons. Will you be all right here for a couple of hours? Yeah, but the book says a vampire talisman should be blessed regularly.
Uh, excuse me, is the pastor here? Uh, when will he be back? It's important. Look, Gustav Helsing sent me. You know who he is, don't you? I know where Gustav Helsing lives. Yeah, well, he wants me to get his cross blessed before sundown. Leave it here. I will take care of it. No, never mind. I'll just find someone else. I will take care of it. Leave it here. Sure, okay. I'll just, uh, wander around and uh, check back with you later. Like in an hour, or maybe two. But no later than sundown for sure, okay? Okay. And although I'm aware of the fact that closing the plant in our van will put hundreds out of work and perhaps kill the town, one must realize that it was an ugly little town anyway. So Anna finally found me sound asleep in the back of a milk truck. <laughs> milk cart, you mean? Some of them were still horse drawn in those days. We're home. Ah, here they are. Peter and Anna Dyson. This is Sophie, whom you've heard so much about. Hi. And Eileen Townsend's sons, Chris and uh, here, where's Max? Uh, we haven't seen him. Well, here be. He'll be back shortly. Come in and join us. We've been friends for almost 40 years. Oh. Do you know that the three of us played together in a band back in the 50s? <laughs> you played in a band? Five flying Dutchmen and a Dutch girl. I played tuba. <laughs> and we weren't even Dutch. <laughs> awesome. Alas, the band broke up when Peter married the Dutch girl. Women always go for the accordion player. I prefer to think Anna was just showing good judgment. Oh, uh, 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 here, let me show you the dance I used to do in the show. Yeah. Oh, Goosey was a wonderful dancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peter, on the other hand, was an absolute menace on the dance floor. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, Goosey. Oh, Goosey. Oh, 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 that's very good, most promising. Keep me informed. William, have the car ready. I need to transact a little business this afternoon in order to free up my evening. For a little pleasure. is gone from the house. You're absolutely certain. Well, imagine that. No cross in the house and sunset a mere 64 minutes, 15 seconds away. Excellent. I do love a nice sunset.
This house is so beautiful. It's charming and full of character. <laughs> Just like you, Goosey. <laughs> Isn't that right, Peter? As I was saying upstairs, there's no question whose house this is. Uh, well, well, should we go? Uh, you kids will find dinner in the icebox. We won't be late. Fifteen-two. I'm in Europe. I'm single. It's summertime, and I'm playing cribbage. <laughs> I know how to live. Would you rather be back home, loitering in a shopping mall? Hey, not every American kid hangs out in a shopping mall, you know. Some places don't have malls. Where's my goofy brother? Uncle Gustav! Uncle Gustav! Max, we were getting worried. Where's Uncle Gustav? He's at dinner somewhere with the Dysons. I think you were supposed to be around here to meet them. I think I did something stupid. Max, what's wrong? But it may be okay. Max, what did you do? Oh, no. Max! I, I was reading a book about the talismans, right? You know, the things that protect you from vampires? And I read they had to be blessed, right? But I didn't read the whole thing, which said that you got to bring a pastor to the talisman and not the other way around, or else it's game over and the bad guys win, see? So I... You idiot! Chris, don't panic. It's probably all right. I mean, how would Lucard find it? It's gone. And the children are alone now. All three. Well, I'm sure he'll show up. He's not one to stay out after dark. You know, this will be my first visit to the House of Helsing. <laughs> oh, it is, is it? Well, the decor fits the man. Anyway, I must fly. You've done very well. I will remember. Sunset, guys. Go to yellow alert. I know. Let's get out of here. How would Dracula find us if we're not in the house when he gets here? Relax, Max. He can't know the cross is missing. Besides, all of Uncle Gustav's vampire fighting stuff is right here. They're empty. Everything's gone. It's what? S someone must have stolen all the crosses in the holy water. But who? Peter. Max, upstairs. Peter took all the crosses in the holy water. 
Peter? Gustav! What on earth is going on? Ah. Well, that's gratitude for you. When word reached me that the Dysons were in town, those old trusted friends of Mr. Helsing's, an opportunity presented itself. She's not a vampire yet. Until you kill her, you only control her mind, not her soul. Don't quibble. Anybody here? I want some cross blast. Take him upstairs, quickly. This holy water will free you from that monster by my hand. And I am the cause of such things. Perhaps you were better off with Peter after all. At least I can bring you back again. My dear friend. I wish you would stay. I know this sounds silly, but for some reason, when Anna and I woke up this morning, we couldn't wait to go home. Oh, you didn't sleep well? Oh, no, I slept very soundly. But I had the strangest dreams. But I don't remember them now. The headache I woke up with. Oh, my. The whole evening's a blur. But I promise when we visit again, we'll stay longer. And then I'll try not to be such a jealous fool when Anna praises you. Then you wouldn't be yourself, dear Peter. <laughs> when Max wakes up, give our love to him. Huh? We'd we like to meet him someday. Bye. <laughs> That's one European custom I'll never get used to. <laughs> Now remember, we must not tell Max that the cross of the Magyars was crafted by St. Varma and never had to be blessed in the first place. Agreed? There goes my day. Yeah, but we should tell him that in the future he must finish reading whatever he starts. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. But for now, let him sleep. <laughs> 